Hello YouTube, I am that one guy with the awesome hat, Coach of your Portland Root Blazers! And today we are have our team builder for UL, UALB Week 13 against Chiangi, and we need to win because we want playoffs. And that would be awesome, and I also want to win the division, because that would be awesome! Because then I don't have to play 27, and that would be awesome! Because I fucking hate playing 27, because he brings weird sets and it confuses me. Because can bring weird sets that work is is really good at that. So uh Chiangi's team is fucking I hate this team. Skarmory, Mega Heracost, Tornadus T, Cresselia, Snorlax, Nido Queen, Salamance, Granbull, Electros, Lightbird, Rotom, and Gastron. Let me see. I will list them again and I will say them again. Bulk! Strong but slow. Bulk potentially. Super fucking bulk. Super bulk. Pretty bulk. Killing me with one Dragon Dance. Uh, bulk by Intimidate. Bulk with Assault Vest. Prankster. Question Marks. And fucking Bulk. He's got so much Bulk, it's annoying. So, in order to be Bulk, we are going to go insane. And by that, we are going to have Sub-Zero the Drapion with the Laichi Berry, Natural Gift Grass, so when we get plus two, Natural Gift Grass kills, Gastron, Aerial Ace kills, Mega Heracross, Knockoff does a shit ton to a lot of people. So, that's why we got that. We got enough speed, 273 is Mega Heracross's max speed, so you can see that this Pokemon, this Pokemon, and this Pokemon have 274 speed. Mega Heracross will not defeat us! Aerial Ace will kill him. We'll also die to a Sacred Fire. We have Charcoal because we want to boost our Sacred Fires because that's really the only move I really want. I have Stone Edge just in case he brings Tornadus D. And Stone Edge will do a little bit more. Like a lot more. And against Salamence because that'll do a lot more. Um, we got Toxic because he's got fucking Snorlax. And if he doesn't rest on us, that would be nice. Cresselia, that's nice to be Toxic. Gastrodon is nice to be Toxic. Grand Bull is nice to be Toxic. Electric, Electros, nice to be Toxic. And finally... We got Roarente. Why do we have Roarente? Because fucking Curslax is a thing, and I can't beat Curslax. I have literally no way to defeat Curslax. None. Because while Mega Gallade may be amazing, Curslax sets up defense too, so I won't kill it. So if he's going to Curslax and he's going to go to sleep on me, fuck you, I'm going to roar you out. So suck on that Snorlax, because he can eat Sage of Fire for days. Next, we have Choice Specs, Rotom Wash, with... Defense to live a plus one Dragon Claw from a Salamence uh, and the health to special attack because we are choice back. We have Trick to switch that onto Snorlax or onto Cresselia so we can't call mind on it or onto Skarmory because that'd be cool or onto Salamence if he's physical uh, or onto Grand Bull or onto Gastodon I guess. Things to mainly things that are bulky and annoying. We got Hydro Pump because that fucks up a shit ton of his team. Hi HP Grass to deal with um what you motherfucker call it. Gastrodon. Toxic because again, Toxic is good on his team. Next, we have Omnimon. Mega Gallade. Oh, we got Drain Punch, Swords Dance, Icy Wind, and Knockoff. Now why would we have Icy Wind? So first off we have Swords Dance because plus two Mega Gallade is a destructive monster, and I want that plus two. We can kill his team with Drain Punch and Knockoff if it's a little bit weakened. So why do we have Icy Wind? Because Meg, I mean, if we have Salamence, and I don't know, I think if he has Intimidate and he intimidates us, um, I'm not sure if we kill with Ice Punch. I think we might, but you know what? It's a risk I don't want to take. I want to slow him down so that I can outspeed him and kill him with other mons, mainly. Um, that's why we have Icy Wind. And also, slowing down things like Tornadus T, that's why I have it. Tornadus T is a big problem because it is super fucking fast, and we cannot outspeed Tornadus T. So, with an Icy Wind, we can outspeed it, and we can kill it. But we can't kill it with Ice Punch. Now, we got uh, Haxorus with the Haban Berry. No amount of defense I put in this will make it live an Outrage if he's plus one with the Haban Berry. So, there's no point in putting any defense in there. We can live a plus one Dragon Claw just fine. We got Dragon Dance, Outrage, Aerial Ace, Earthquake, Meg um, with 80 special defense. Cresselia cannot two-hit KO us with Moonblast. It is like 10% chance, I think. Maybe. Um, we got Earthquake, because it's awesome, and it kills Nidoqueen. Aerial Ace, because it kills Heracross. And Outrage, because unless he has Skarm, then literally we can kill pretty much 2 KO everything with Outrage. Like, we can even 2 KO Cresselia after plus one. I'm, well, it's like a 60 or 70% chance, I think. And this! Skrillex! The Red to Steel with Leftovers Rest, Substitute, Seismic Toss, and Toxic! This thing is great, because first off, plus six Cresselia! 
So if he can somehow get six calm lines up on us and we can't get rid of him because I'm afraid to go in there today because I don't want him to die with Psy Shock, then we go in to our boy Skrillex. And Skrillex says, what does your plus six Moonblast do to me? Guess what? It does like 15% max. And then the strongest move he could have is like HP Fire or HP Fighting or whatever. And that does less, that does um 50% maybe on the nose so it won't do a KO after leftovers. So we can rest up, we can substitute up, we can seismic, we can get a free substitute on that thing all day long. We can seismic toss people because seismic toss is awesome. We can toxic things because this team is fat. We can rest up because that's awesome and if we have a rest and we have, we're fat enough where we won't be taking stuff. Won't be taking something. I don't know. We, um... We can rest up. We can take lots of hits. That's basically the point. You are the. T this is the take hits mon, and it'll. It is completely. It completely destroys. Uh, calm mind Cresselia. So crocoon all you want on us, Cresselia. It won't work. Kill mega hair cross. Kill things after plus one. Kill everything after plus two with a little bit of chip damage. Kill things with choice specs. Roar out the Snorlax. That is literally the one job I have at day for. Is roaring out the Snorlax. <laughs> And also, I'm pretty sure with this amount of defense, we can live a plus one return, maybe a plus two return, maybe a plus one earthquake. I don't remember. I could calc it right now, but in fact, import. Um, also, kill gun. See, let's go to damage calculator. Oh, wait, it should probably still be in my calculator. Ente WWE against Snorlax Curse Lax. Mm, plus one Oops. earthquake. We could take a plus one earthquake. We could take a plus two earthquake. Snorlax. Pretty sure I did for choice band though. Is there, we can take a choice banded earthquake from Snorlax and wire off a sacred fire because if he's choice banded, he won't appreciate the burn. If he is curse lax, he can't kill us with a plus two earthquake. So that is why we have Entei. This is the kill Gastrodon and to do lots of damage to things. Mainly our winner win conditions are Black Bolt, the Haxorus, and Omnimon, the Mega Gallade. So let's kick it up. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, YouTube.